I think the key to marketing and communications working together is foundational. It's communications. Mm -hmm. It's talking a lot, and Deirdre Latour, our VP of Communications, and I talk frequently. Our teams sit together. Our teams meet together frequently. We ladder up to the same goals for the company. You know, we're trying to protect and grow our $43 billion brand, our 124-year-old company. But I think communications, partnership, team alignment are three of the things I think about. Mm -hmm. Deirdre and I both report to the same vice chairman. Mm -hmm. We've been colleagues for over a decade. I think we, um, we appreciate each other's strengths, admire each other's strengths. So I think there's sort of that leadership that comes from having grown up in the company together, having a shared sense of vision and trust. Mm -hmm. um, I think we do a really good job. I'll say Deirdre does a really, really good job because it's easier always to talk about somebody else mm -hmm. um, in giving our teams a lot of runway and sort of saying, look, here's a challenge. Guys, get together and figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes a big difference. I think it's much um, more constraining to say, here's what we think the answer is. That rarely happens. I think much more often it's, here's a challenge that we're trying to take on as a company. GE's trying to become the preeminent digital industrial company. What's that going to look like? Uh, we created together a content center of excellence that's sort of co-led by senior members of both of our teams that is in sort of constant contact. So I think those are some of the things. Look, I think we're all facing similar challenges, right? The swim lanes that were perhaps once upon a time fairly discreet, mm -hmm. it's now just one big pool. And whether that's marketing and communications, whether that's how different media entities are behaving, who's partnering with whom, where you're getting your news, where people are discovering a brand or a service or a product, I think it's a whole new world. So being here, and particularly being here with a tremendous colleague, um, Deirdre Latour, um, and sort of having this two-headed conversation, I'm really excited about it. I'm thrilled to be here. So I uh, always look for talent that is resourceful. I think in today's world, which is a world of experimentation, a world of trying things, a world of kind of getting on the playing field and experimenting, to me resourcefulness is, is almost number one. Um, I, I think when it comes to next gen talent, you know, what I love, um, and I see this every day with my team, is an eagerness to, um, to talk about our brand, to talk about GE in on platforms and in media where people are spending their time. And you know, once upon a time, that was called three networks, and that was sort of easy for us, right, in marketing and communications. Today, it's anything but. People's time is still 24 hours in a day, but how they spend their time, where they spend their time is changing. What I love about the, the millennials, if you will, is sort of this idea that, that people can be and are anywhere using different channels in different ways. I still think it comes down to how to communicate how to market something in a way that's simple, that's accessible, that's succinct, that's human, that I think is, uh, is, is never changing. Mm -hmm.